Yo YouTube, you know this is your boy DJ Cool Thing from Cool Thing Entertainment. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And let's roll that intro. YouTube lesson of today's video. Today's video is all about the DDJ 400. Another video about the DDJ 400, but this time we're talking about the software. And we're going to compare Record Box versus DDJ Pro by Algorithm because they both are native to the DDJ 400. Um, so one is Record Box, which is you know been around for a long time, so has Algorithm DJ. And they're both really good for beginners, especially when you pick up the DDJ 400 or DDJ 200 or um, the 800 or whatever record box controller you get. But since I have the DDJ 400 as a secondary controller, backup controller, and you know on the go controller, backup yeah backup controller, secondary controller, travel controller, it was always good to talk about the software and see which one I actually might go into in the long run, you know, whether to delete one and keep one or keep both, we'll see. So with that said, we'll see you guys on the desktop to talk about Rekordbox and DJ Pro by Algorithm. I have Rekordbox open, since that's the first app we're gonna be talk talking about. As you can see here, we can select whatever we wanna select. Let's say I want 80s hits. I can select a track. We're gonna select um, this one right here, Human Beatbox by the Fat Boys. We're not, we're not gonna play anything for copyright. And it's, it's working really well. It's getting it processed. And I think it already is. But yeah, this is a really neat um, piece of software. You know, I got all my playlists I built throughout my file system. See, these are some old, yeah, these are the exact same playlists I have in my Serato library. Um, related tracks, sampler, explorer, devices, history, recordings, collection. As you can see here, I got 29,784 tracks that I've been building up since 2019, you know, pretty much my entire life through vinyl records, cassette tapes, CDs, and then of course, transferring them over to my laptop, and I purchased tons of tracks off of BPM Supreme and iTunes and all those different download sites to build up an entire huge collection of music and it gets you um okay there we go as you can see here um it works really well 50s and 60s i can select a song in my 50s and 60s let's say i want if i'm celebrating a birthday i can select this track right here happy birthday by stevie wonder and it plays through the you know plays with the speakers, whatever speakers you have connected to the DJ 400, 200, 800, 1000, any type of record box controller, it works. Let me tell you, it's an amazing piece of software. And of course, you got your Beat Sync, which is um, syncing up your. See, as you can see here, when you press this, the uh, beat sync button, it actually lights up to match up the beats. If you're making a transition from one song to the next, and making a yeah, making a smooth transition to you know match up the beat, and then turn one down, and it sounds very very smooth, and it sounds very professional. 
this one right here, like, um, this one is, okay, Ray Charles, Queen's Color Revival, Fortunate Son, just, you know, random tracks to pick, and as you can see, the jog wheels feel, you know, very, feel very nice in the hand. It's a great piece of software. This is Record Box DJ. It's definitely one of the most used for the DJ 400, the 200, the 800, yeah, the 800, 200, 400, 1000. And here's Hit the Road Jack. Load it up, start playing it. And it shows the levels. So, yeah, it does work, and of course you can use your beats, and when you go to the effects, we're going to press the effect select, you can select, see it makes it so easy to select an effect, make it faster, there we go, robot pitch, I'm going to keep it on my most favorite, and that is the echo, I'm actually going to do the delay as my dedicated effect and I'm going to keep it on delay so um, we can do deck 1, deck 2 and master which I think works really well especially going from one song to the next making that smooth transition you know you got vertical, you got horizontal you know there's different orientations for, you know, you got four deck horizontal, four deck vertical. That's if you have one of those four deck controllers, but this is a two deck controller, the DJ 400. So I'm sticking with the two deck mode, whether it's uh, horizontal or vertical, link, and this is a great piece of software. Performance mode, lighting mode, export mode. If you have a CDJ, uh, CDJ system, go to export mode. But if you have a DJ 400, 800, 1000, Something like that. Use performance mode. And it's just a great piece of software. There's sampler. Yeah, there's the sample. Uh, effects. Record, uh, high, the show and hide record panel. For recording a mix using the software. Lighting panel. Uh, Ableton link. And much more. MIDI. Uh, PC Master Out is if you want to play through the speakers of your laptop. But it's a great piece of software. I highly recommend it if you have a DDJ 800, 400, yeah, 200, 400, 800, 1000. Any of those that say Record Box, use Record Box. It's a great piece of software. The next one we're going to talk about is Algorithm DJ. I just say it says, oh, okay, there we go. Um, DJ Pro AI, which is another great app. I have used it in the past with the DJ SR2 from Pioneer DJ. And as you can see here, it loads up very well. Uh, DJ Music, I can select whatever I want to select. So if there's a subfolder, there you go. I can select, there's my 2020 downloads from this past year, uh, 80s hits. And I can go to 80s hits. I can go to Wing Chun. Everybody have fun tonight. Load it up and it starts playing. Works really well. As you can see here, works really well. As you can see here, it works really well. Press play. And it works really well, you know. I'm gonna see if the effects work. So 
So yeah, the effects do work. So yeah, the effects do work, and you can go back to the beginning of the song, get to your, there we go. You know, the trim, it's very responsive with Algorithm DJ. We're gonna have to check it out with the SR2 and see how well it does with the SR2. So there's the trim, high, mids, and lows. Low and high pass filter, the effects. When you go to the effects panel, um, it turns it up and down. Yeah, it goes to the uh, atten um, tendency of, um, yeah, it goes to the strength of the effect. Turn it off. And make sure it's on master because you want it on both decks, not just one. Your master volume, take the cue off, beat sync. Um, when you press play and out, so you can create your own bit of loops. That's a loop exit. But if I want to, I create a loop here and go down to here. That is basically how you create a manual loop. And that is a eight beat loop. Which I think is really cool if you want to create your own extended version of the track. That is me, of course. Your crossfader works with it. Everything is pretty much working with Algorithm DJ. You got your instant double. Yeah, there's instant double. Yeah, there's instant double. If you want to keep it in sync and create that mirror effect. Or if you want to create a loop on one and ha you know, you can get creative with both pieces of software. There you go. There's Algorithm DJ in a nutshell. Works really well. It's a great piece of software. So this video is actually from Monday, March 15th. This is being recorded on Sunday, March 14th, Pi Day 3.14. So I just wanted to get this video you know, I want to get this video recorded before we can edit and get it out by Monday. Because Monday is the start to the work week and I start posting a whole new week of videos. This is just to get the week started. So looking forward to that. So, you know, I can play whatever you know song I want and start playing and I can get creative with a lot of effects and you know put another song on the other deck and put them in sync if they have the same BPM and the same key it should be fine especially if you're going from one phone to the next make it smooth you got the uh, release effects which is turning it on and off the depth of your effect, your level. It's, it all works with the software Algorithm DJ as well as Record Box since they are both on the box when you get the DJ 400. So it all works perfectly well. So I can use any piece of software at any gig. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So next time, your boy DJ Cool Thing from Cool Thing Entertainment, out.